Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Paul. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm great. I'm excited about today. The Good. Schlumpf. Yes. So what I have here is a Schlumpf high-speed drive. Hmm. So basically what this is, you'll notice it's only got one chain ring, um, but it is a two-speed planetary drive. And it goes up on the front. It replaces your crank. So, you know, you've got your crank arm and your pedals. Um, so basically how it shifts is there is a button at the center of the crank and it engages and disengages a clutch. So you have a one-to-one -one ratio and this particular drive has got a 27 tooth ring on it. Hmm. Now there's several different options as far as chain ring sizes, but this one seems to be the most popular, um, probably the most usable um, out of the ones available. Um, and then, uh, so when you click the button, it switches into a two and a half to one overdrive, which basically <laughs> gives you the equivalence of a 67 tooth chain ring. <laughs> what? So, yeah, it's, it's pretty high. Um, basically what we'd use this for is, you know, with the, with the 20 inch wheel on the back of a trike, you lose a lot of high gearing. Um, so the schlumpf kind of helps you recoup that gearing that you've lost. Um, also, we pair it, a lot of times we'll pair it with an internal drive in the back. Um, and then you can change cogs there and really tune the gearing for what you're going to be doing. Um, that is awesomely crazy. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. It is fantastic. Super reliable, Yeah. extremely mo low maintenance. You know, you hardly ever have to do anything to this. You just oil it, you know, every 500 to 1,000 miles or so, and you're good to go. Um, so... Uh, a couple other things I have here. So basically, these are the crank arms. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, they come in several different lengths. What I've got here is uh, 170 millimeter in silver. Carry them in black all the way from you know 175 down to uh, 150 or so. Um, I don't remember exactly, but but we carry a lot of different size crank arms for them. Um, the next thing I have here uh, is the easy shift lever. Um, so like I showed you. The small button is what you usually use to shift with. Yeah. Um, sometimes that's a little difficult to hit with your heel, you know, especially if you're clipped in or something like that. So the easy shift lever uh, goes over the crank arm like that. And then you just bump the whole lever with your heel and it'll shift gears. What? So those are very handy. Those are, those are nice to have. Um, so I have a drive here installed if you want to have a look and see it in action, please. All right, so here we have the drive all installed um, with a set of the easy shift levers. Um, so basically you can see that all these bolts kind of stay in place as it spins. And then when I click the easy shift lever, now you see those are spinning much quicker. It's crazy. So you basically you click it to the right and it and it's an overdrive, you click it back over and it's in the regular drive then? Right. Yeah. So big old click on the right side is overdrive. Big click on the left side, switches it back to the one to one. That's crazy. Such a I mean it just looks like it's so efficient. It makes everything less it is, yeah. They they start out and, and all the machine parts are, are very they have very tight tolerances. Um, the drive actually lightens up after a while, you know, the, the gears start to mesh a little easier um, and things like that. So the drive will actually become more efficient as time goes on. That's astonishing. So man, that looks super useful. Yeah, yeah, it's a great option, you know, for people who, who don't like derailers. Um, I didn't mention before, but you can shift this drive at a standstill. Um, so should you come down a hill or have to make a quick stop or something and you're stuck in a high high gear, you can click it over into the one-to-one -one ratio uh, without having to pedal or anything. So really handy in that respect also. That's awesome. Sounds like something that I, I definitely need to try out. So I'm going to order one and, and it, I mean, it's a simple install? Uh, well, it does require us to uh, chamfer the, the boom or the bottom bracket of the trike or bike. So. Um, we do recommend that you send the parts into us or, you know, your boom or something like that and, and have us install it. Um, you know, we've done a lot of these drives and we've got it down. So 
um, yeah, just give us a call and we'll get one installed for you. No, but do you think you could just do mine? Oh, I can do yours. Thank you, Matt. No problem. <laughs>